Kitchen chemistry, gumdrop molecules. Now in this, we're going from making the, using the scientific method, and we say, okay, now we're going to do chemistry. Chemistry is the science of mixing stuff together. All chemistry starts with the smallest part of matter. Does anyone here know what the smallest part of matter is? Wait for the campers to reply. Everyone smile. Most of the time, there's one camper that does know that atoms are the smallest part of matter. Everyone say, atom! Atom! Molecule. Because if you take two or more atoms, you have a molecule. So in this challenge, we're going to have them try and build molecules. We're going to hand them pictures of molecules, where the red gumdrop represents oxygen, the purple nitrogen, and so they actually have to match the colors as well. So they're going to, as a group, as a table, usually about five in a group, you would have a bag of gumdrops, some toothpicks, and some plates to put them on. The main reason why you have the plates is they will eat these after they're done, so you have to make sure that it's on the plate. Now make sure that they can eat gumdrops, make sure they don't have any sugar issues, things like that. Most of them understand what they can and can't do in the tank. So here we have the toothpick, gumdrops, and we give them the picture upside down, and we say, when we say go, all the teams flip their papers over. Then they have to build the molecules based on what's the paper, what's on the paper. So there's five different molecules on the paper. And it has oxygen, nitrogen, uh, argon, all these different gases. So, once they're done building them, you go and check and make sure that they're built in the right way. The first team that gets it gets first place, second team that gets it, second place, third team. So you keep going until all the teams are done. There's usually about five teams, so it goes up to fifth place. If they get done just about the same time, they can tie and both get first or third or fifth place. So, with the paper two, you're actually flipping over the paper and it shows greenhouse gases. So you talk a little bit about how chemists look at greenhouse, the greenhouse effect, as something we can solve. By splitting up all those atoms, breaking down those molecules, we might be able to break down those greenhouse gases. So it can be solved if you're a chemist. So chemistry could and probably will save the world.